I'm 680 News Senior Business Editor Mike Apple. Back on track, CN Rail will see its operations uh, back to normal on Wednesday after a tentative deal was reached between the Teamster Union and the company to end a multi-day strike that had shut down the operator of the biggest Canadian railway network. And we we're already seeing the ripple effect of that on the Canadian economy with some companies warning of short-term layoffs because they just had a production backlog and couldn't get their products to market. So with this uh, tentative deal in place, CN Rail will get back to work Wednesday and a sigh of relief from a lot of these companies, whether it's in the mining industry, forestry, energy trade, farmers, breathing a sigh of relief about the uh, uh, company getting back to work on Wednesday. And the stock price of CN Rail today was on the rise by a couple of dollars on Bay Street, up uh, both days so far this week. Quarterly earnings in from the Scotiabank, better than forecast to start the big bank's fourth quarter earnings season and a $2.14 billion profit in the last quarter of the year. The, the uh, bank seeing its earnings rise just 2%. They were actually setting aside a little bit more cash in the advent of any uh, concern about uh, slowing sales or rising uh, debt defaults going into 2020, although they're saying that the economy should be okay to start next year. Revenue for the Scotiabank, led by its wealth management operations, hitting almost $8 billion for the quarter. Some positive signals for the retail sector as we're into the week of Black Friday and that all-important sales part of the season, with Best Buy today reporting huge earnings and raising their guidance. They have really seen a ramp up in e-commerce activity, and uh, the stock price for Best Buy today hit a record high in U.S. trading activity. Well, Disney also saw its share price jump to a record today. The House of the Mouse is selling all sorts of things related to uh, digital streaming, video streaming through Disney Plus. Reports indicating a million plus downloads of that per day since its launch a couple of weeks back. The Mandalorian is seeing big uh, uh, ratings uh, related to uh, versus Netflix, for example, and Stranger Things, according to reports today. The opening weekend for Frozen 2 was a box office record breaker for an animated film. Uh, beating the uh, previous record holder, Toy Story 4, and also record sales for the latest uh, Star Wars-related video game being launched. So Disney share price today topping 152 bucks U.S. on Wall Street. And it's a battle of geniuses. Astrophysicist Neil deGrasse Tyson is questioning the validity of a towing battle between the new uh, S Tesla Cybertruck against the Ford F-150. Elon Musk was touting this, but uh, DeGrasse Tyson saying, yeah, the Ford F-150 is just a rear-wheel drive. Put it up against a 4x4. Also, the Cybertruck's quite a bit larger and heavier than the Ford vehicle. Elon Musk says he'll do a retest with this and uh, try to do an apples-to-apples -apples, uh, perspective sometime maybe next week. From the 680 Newsroom, I'm Mike Apple for City News.